Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode. The topic today will cover an overview of Azure Disk Encryption. We'll tell you about requirements and limitations for this option and a demo how to enable disk encryption for Windows and Linux VM using Azure K Vault. As usual, before beginning, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for upcoming videos. As well, ask a question if something is not uh, clear. Okay. The encryption of objects in cloud environment has evolved in the meantime. And today, the encryption can be done using a key vault. And this vault is helping you to control and manage the disk encryption case and secrets. When uh, when you're encrypting a disk in Azure with um, key vault, you have some requirements and limitation. And uh, for example, Azure Disk Encryption is not available for VM size like um, like BASIC and uh, a virtual machine with less than 4 GB of RAM these limits are referred to the Windows machine and if you are using a Linux VM you'll need 8 GB of RAM to encrypt data and uh, OS volumes if you need to encrypt just um, data disks, you will need uh, a minimum of 2 GB of RAM. Okay, as you know, when you create a VM in Azure, you have two options on the storage side to use Manage and uh, Unmanage Disks. When you choose Azure Manage Disks, the encryption is made by Azure using uh, 256 bit IS encryption algorithm this will not be visible for you and it is happening behind your subscription as well is not uh, impacting the performance of uh, managed disks and no additional cost you will have for this uh, for this choice if you use unmanaged disks definitely you will need to encrypt your disk and and of course you will have an additional cost for using uh, a key vault depending on what kind of key you will use software protected keys or hardware security models if you want to know more about key vault pricing please check the description of this video i will put a link here with this information okay so it is your decision about what kind of encryption you will use because each encryption comes with its strength and uh, weaknesses okay guys let's start a demo how to enable disk encryption for azure vms let me go first to one of these two vms this is a linux vm and as i said you need to keep in mind the vm size because you will not be able to enable the encryption if you will use let me go to this tab size so don't use uh, the basic offering because you will not be able to to do encryption for for your disks so it doesn't matter if i will start the encryption for a windows or linux vm because this process uh, has no well established steps so you can create a key vault define a cryptographic key enable disk encryption okay let's start the encryption for this uh, for this disk click on encryption and at this moment i have just os disk attached to this vm i don't have a key vault so let me create a new one select your resource group enter a key vault name so the pricing tire you have uh, two options here to use uh, a software protected case our hardware security models hsm i will choose standard because it's uh, cheaper for me soft delete will allow you to recover a deleted key uh, for a period of time and the purge protection if you enable this option you will not able to disable after deployment of this uh, key vault so let me go ahead with access policy 
in access policy I will use this option because I want to encrypt my uh, my volume okay, next networking I will leave this default tags review and uh, and create a K vault. Okay, the deployment of K vault is done, but we don't have a, a K. So as well, we need to generate a, a K. And you have a K type here, K size, a complexity of this K below activation and the expiration date and the last one yes no if the k should be enabled or disabled and create okay once you have created a new k you will have a version here you can create a new version of your k if you want so select okay once these fields are completed K volt K on version click save and you will have a message here your VM will be rebooted in order to enable Azure disk encryption uh, click yes and save and that's it okay let's go back to to this VM this is a Windows VM and um, as I said uh, <coughs> the process is the same go to disks and enable OS disk you can use the same you can use the same K vault and create a new K for this um, for this VM for example P035 K create select a version click save yes and that's it okay what I have to mention for this uh, Windows VM uh, is not using a managed disk and as you saw you don't have different steps in order to enable encryption for for your disks and we already have enabled encryption for for this uh, for this disk okay guys this was all information that i want to share with you on this topic if you have a question don't hesitate to ask me via comments i will help you with pleasure if you find the information for today useful please subscribe for upcoming videos and see you next time